Time now is 5.04 on this Monday morning. Let's drive Tampa Bay forward. It is time to squeeze into downtown Lakeland. This morning, the public transit system there is going to introduce a new ride service. It's called the Squeeze. It's, uh, it's, it's The whole goal of this is to get visitors around downtown very quickly using golf carts. Which is kind of a thing in Florida. Yeah. You know, Our Chad Mills, he made the drive out there this morning, joining us live to explain how the Squeeze works. Good morning, Chad. Good morning, guys. It's a pretty simple concept. Just pay $2 for a whole day of riding on that cart. It'll take you on a loop around downtown. You see some of it here behind me, and it will basically stop you off at uh, very busy areas where there are restaurants, shops, if you need to finish up holiday shopping, or if you just want to go out and grab maybe an adult beverage, some lunch, some dinner during the weekends. Those are all possibilities using this new service. Citrus Connection, Polk County's transit system, is calling it the squeeze and the new service will use a couple eight seater golf carts to shuttle guests around downtown during lunchtime during the week and dinner time on the weekends. Lunchtime service begins today from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. with stops up and down Kentucky and Tennessee avenues and one over at the joinery which is downtown Lakeland's popular food hall. The service is all about solving some parking difficulties in the area and getting more people downtown in the first place, which should be good news to shops and restaurants this time of year. Well, we're not the villages, but the novelty of it and the convenience of getting in and getting out where you want to go, this helps identify you know, the Lakeland area. The weekend evening service will start this weekend and offer a larger route to downtown from some of the surrounding neighborhoods. We'll post those routes and more info on our website, abcactionnews.com. Live here in Lakeland this morning, Chad Mills, ABC Action News. Thank you, Chad. If you know a community that could benefit from a transit project like this or other transportation upgrades, contact our Driving Tampa Bay Forward tip line. The information on your screen right now, it's also posted on abcactionnews.com.